what is up and welcome back to the channel and guess what we are gonna try to shoot the aurora again there's a massive massive warning for the aurora going on tonight but there's also a massive warning for low clouds in the horizon the last time that there was a possibility for the aurora and i didn't leave the house i was miserable for the entire night so i figured that this time we are gonna try i'm gonna go anyway and worst case scenario i won't have to edit this video because if you're seeing this and it means that this time we actually managed to shoot the aurora the north light jesus christ someone is on a rush and we just got to scaries probably won't be able to see behind me oh actually yes well so the moon is there which is not great because the north is there as well there are clouds but it's less cloudy than I thought it was gonna be light but it, it is less cloudy than I thought it was gonna be the KP levels have already gone down when he left the house they were very promising they were nearly seven so 6.67 on the way up here it went down to 3.6 so that's that's kind of a bummer what's most concerning me really is the fact that the moon is just there where it literally is where the, not, the lights should be showing up because if they do it's there and the moon is just there somewhere well hello again hello hello the man, the man with the light the man with the light, no, <laughs> the light. welcome back to the vlogs thanks for driving expectations hopes uh, tell me always otherwise we wouldn't be here so there's always hope it's just we need to get out the cameras tripods mount them and then we we'll see. Fingers crossed. Not taking the whole back. Just 1635 and R6 and the tripod that's on the front and that's it. Let me get you out of here before someone runs you over. So great news. You can't see anything that I'm doing, but cameras are back here and there is, like, we can't see on, on the naked eye, but uh, there's definitely something green showing up in the back of the screen after a 30 second uh, long exposure. It is very, very thin, but it is something, and it is the first time that I'm shooting the Aurora, even though it's very, very uh, thin. It is something, yes! Let's go, let's go take more photos. It's best to be. Of course, in Tennessee, it's the first time I shoot this thing. I call that uh, mission accomplished, even though it was just a little bit of the Aurora, that is the first time that I see. And as you can see, I am so pumped. I'm not even wearing the gloves that I brought with me. I am so excited that we actually got some shots of the Aurora and we got to meet some really cool people that are taking photos there in the background. So, you know, I call that a win. It is the first time, so it is a big, big victory for me. Thanks to Marius because I wasn't even aware that there was a warning for the Aurora tonight. And then he just texted me a couple of hours ago, say, hey man, do you want to go? So said, yes, I want to go, let's go. And yeah, you know, that, that was worth it. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Enough. The light technician. So yeah, thank you very much for following this small vlog. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you like this video. Comment below as well your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's really, really important. Ring the bell as well so you get notifications from when I post. And as usual, I will see you in the next video.